Hey guys, hey Dale Walker at Whole Shot. Hey, um, you've watched a lot of my videos recently, I think, and you see the little Subaru Outback with a little trailer behind it. Well, I thought it'd be kind of neat to show you how I built this little uh, single bike trailer, brand new, for around a thousand, eleven hundred bucks. It works really great. It, I call it the gas mileage special. With the bike on the trailer, our Subaru Outback gets 24 to 25 miles per gallon. And uh, I got three trailers, but when I want to just take one bike, like you see me over at Galfer or out to my riding place, this is the go-to little guy here. So let me show you how I did it for a thousand bucks. I thought it'd be kind of cool. First of all, guys, here's the tag that was on the trailer from the Lowe's big box store, like Home Depot Lowe's. I think I built this thing three years ago. It's a carry-on 5x8 landscape trailer. That's the load capacity total. Okay, let me go show you the trailer and walk around. Okay, like I mentioned, this is a carry-on. Basic little landscape trailer, 5x8. Uses a 1 and 7 8 ball. I added a uh, little uh, jack right there I bought from Harbor Freight. Uh, it comes with 12 inch wheels and these are just very common. You can buy a brand new wheel and tire just about any big store. Um, I mounted a spare right here. Uh, it comes with a mesh metal decking like the rear tailgate that's your built in loading ramp. So I put uh, half inch plywood down there. Put some heavy duty tie rings right there. If I go somewhere, I can put a big chain around that that has an inner tube around it and the heavy duty lock. Um, I welded and built these little pieces here. Drilled a hole in the gate there. Okay, one on each side. You can put two heavy duty padlocks right there. Works slick. You got the spring loaded little catches. Works slick. There's your ramp. Um, you at you want to add bearing buddies. Uh, these are the ones that have a weep hole in them. They're just turned to the bottom, so when you pump it up, you don't blow the seal out. It'll come out like a little worm. Um, I always put a little nylon tie on the cap. They don't fly off. Uh, those things you run around 45, 48 pounds of air. It's got a normal uh, five lug, which is good. Um, we welded in little hoops here and uh, more in the front. And then on eBay, you can buy a front tire vise like used on a motorcycle lift, or you could use a sport chalk that you just roll into. I like this because you can cinch it up. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so you got your handle, you roll it in there. I idle the bike right up the ramp, walk next to it in first gear. I drop it in there. It's got a little tire stop you see back here. I just hold onto the handlebars. I snug it the wheel down. Then I run a heavy duty bungee cord over here to here. It's tight, but it keeps it from moving. Then you can do it all by yourself. I cut some little nice rags and I use short soft ties. I use the heavy duty power tie ratchet. Uh, tie downs they're great they're really heavy duty make sure you get the ones that have the little latches on the end that way if you get any bounce you can't jump out of the holding ring or anything which it won't anyway so what that does you're pulling it forward at the proper angle zero tie downs up here you don't need a canyon dancer you don't need any other mechanism up here you just pull it forward real light load I only I only suck the forks down about one inch and uh, what you do is you stand from the back I make, and you just eyeball below the handlebars and the straight across edge of the front deck, the protection deck. What's really slick is how I did this here. It's so simple and it bolts right in the existing frame but that tucks right in behind your car and keeps all the bugs and everything off the bike. It's protected pretty nice. You know for just a little open wheel trailer you can't go wrong, and you can use it for other stuff, too. It's really neat. 
And uh, we've had a couple of these. I have a Ram truck. I have a big trailer. I have a medium sized enclosed trailer. But this little guy here is just the 2.5 liter flat four. It's a 2018. Pulls this thing like nothing. And like I say, it gets up to 24, 23 to 25 miles per gallon. So anyway, that's how I built this thing. I'm really happy with it. I've used it three years. And uh, it works really slick. I, if, you, if you're looking into a used trailer or something like that, look at one of these, and this is how I did it. And I think you'd be really happy. It's, it's a neat little rig. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that and just probably help out a few people when they're looking at stuff like this and thinking about building something. All right, man. Take care. Subscribe. That's Rusty, by the way. That's my new 2020 Tracer 900 GT. And uh, my MT-09 2021 just came in. That's going to be Rip Jr., and I'm going to get it next Wednesday. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.